2 is the best movie of the last decade, and here's why. Hey Splashers, welcome back, and if you're new to the channel, enjoy this review. Doom Part 1 sets up the story perfectly for Doom Part 2 to continue right where Part 1 left off, and that's smack dab in the middle of action. I wanted so badly to put spoilers in this review, but I just couldn't do it to you guys like that. This is a must watch movie, so I kept all the spoilers out. If you haven't watched part one, definitely watch it. Part one is all about the story, not a lot of action, so be prepared if you're an action person, but you can familiarize yourself with each of the families very well in part one. The lack of action in part one becomes an afterthought when you discover how much action is put into part two. It almost leaves you yearning for a little bit of more dialogue based on how much and how great the action is. Did I say I wanted more dialogue? Scrap that. Haha. <laughs> It's actually the perfect balance of both. Any filmmakers that watch this movie absolutely should model their flow of their films similar to this one because this movie does not go stagnant. You're constantly engaged. Every time you think there's a twist and turn, you're fully in. No time for sleeping. You won't fall asleep in one minute of this movie. And if you do, please comment and let me know how that happened. Visually, the colors, explosions, camera angles, fight scenes, and cutscenes are perfectly executed in every way imaginable. I was unable to be picky about any aspect of Doom 2, and usually there is always something to nitpick in a movie. How many times have you watched a movie and not found something that you didn't like about it? This might be my first. There are countless action scenes to keep you mesmerized throughout the full two hours and 35 minutes of runtime. If any of you are crazy enough to count how many action scenes there are, let us know in the comments. None of the scenes felt rushed. All characters had the right amount of screen time for their roles, and you will stay engaged the entire time. Trust me. Does it sound like I really enjoyed this movie? I absolutely did. If you love space operas, this is one of the creme de la creme. But if you like films with more depth, metaphysics, apocalyptic ecology, religion, mass manipulation, fanaticism, and love, this is it, and there are endless ways to dissect this film with friends and family. You can watch it over and over, and you'll find something else that you didn't realize was in the film or some other angle to look at this film from. It's, it's just amazing. Timothy Chalamet deserves every award possible for portraying Paul Atreides in a very badass way in part two. And when he makes the transition from a humble guy into a fearsome leader, it's nothing short of majestic. Navigating his way from being a supplemental character in part one to being the showstopper in Dune part two. What if I told you that his character art rivals that of Luke Skywalker? Is that good? Some of you may cream me for saying it, but oh well. Let the banter begin. There is even a twist where he calls someone a family member and you would never expect it to be true. The even crazier part is finding out how they are related. You might want to look it up after you watch this movie so you fully understand what's going on. Chani, played by Zendaya, is one of the most loyal and fearsome warriors in the movie. Teaching Paul the ways of the Fremen and fully supporting him throughout his endeavors to become a leader and save the people from the Harkonnen and Corino families, Chani experiences an emotional roller coaster from being reserved to fully trusting what she has seen and feeling. She ends up receiving the worst news a person would want to hear, especially after a moment of triumph. What do you believe she heard and witnessed in this film? Because it's, it's major and it has a large effect on how her life is gonna be going forward when she thought it was gonna be one way and it looks like it's gonna be a completely different way. Let's discuss in the comments once you watch the film, or if you'd like to guess in advance, go ahead and leave some comments and let me know how you think things unfold for Chani. And I actually have a Chani pop here. She killed it. Zendaya absolutely, absolutely killed her role as Chani, and her and Paul Atreides, they, they did some magic, guys. So if you plan on watching this movie, I really suggest paying attention to their storylines. And if you're someone that's read the books, let me know if there's certain things in the books that you like different than what they showed in the movie because I have not read the books, but I may go and read the books now that I've actually seen the movie because this, this movie actually was so intriguing. And I cannot forget the other characters in the film because they all were great and they played the roles that they were supposed to play very, very well. The many other characters in part two were all integral to this film and you will enjoy the majority of them if not all of the characters. Who is your favorite character and why? For me, 
I would have to say Paul Atreides. He just, he, man, it's, it's hard to even explain how good this role was for Timothy Chalamet. And I'll be very surprised if he's not holding a bunch of awards at the end of the year when it comes time. Paul Atreides has two major iconic moments in the closing of Doom 2. He asserts himself as the one and true leader, putting fear into the masses, including getting a powerful figure to bend the knee, honoring him, as the king, the emperor, just being the, the main person, the most powerful. That's crazy because you just see the change from Doom Part 1 to even how Doom Part 2 starts. It, it just is wild to know that this guy was able to make that transition. He just ruled everything. <laughs> Amazing, amazing, amazing work in executing this scene by everyone involved. If you don't love it when you see it, I don't know what to tell you. To make this film even greater and just tie things together even more, the closing scene creates suspense and endless possibilities of how Dune 3 can open and introduce all of the other families that we have yet to see because there was a war in this one, but this war is nothing compared to the next war that is coming down the pipeline with all of the families. So we'll find out what is going to happen and how it's gonna happen, but I'm excited for that film because this one blew all of my expectations. I have no other expectation that I could put on this film. I wasn't expecting it to be this darn good because it's hard to execute in every aspect of a film, regardless who you are, what director, how great you are. The Zack Snyders, the George Lucases, all the different people that do films that we all like and know in different directors, it's still gonna have somebody that doesn't like certain aspects of it. To see that this one was so highly critically acclaimed and that even the audience loved pretty much all of it, that's, that's wild. There will be even more action in Doom Part 3, and now we have to wait for that. So this is gonna keep me on the edge of my seat or wherever I'm at at the time, trying to figure out when the release date is gonna be for Doom Part 3, because this film was killer. Also guys, when have you watched a movie that had a sequel, and the sequel actually is better than Part 1? And I'm gonna say that flat out. Sequel is better than Part 1. Doom Part 2 was the best. And that's hard to say in any franchise of films that I could think of that the sequel was better than the original. But this one absolutely executed. It's top tier. Put this up there with any movie that you can successfully say was a great movie or that you may have been inspired by, things like that. This is that movie. This is the first A-plus rating I have given to a movie, and this one is well-deserved. Dennis Villanueva, and crew masterfully executed this film. Go watch it with your friends, your family. Enjoy the film. Let me know. Thanks, Splashers, for watching. I know you have strong opinions about Doom Part 2 as well. Express yourselves in the comments. Like and share this with friends and family. And watch my other reviews. I thank you. Catch you on the next one.